Leonidas. Hello, teacher. Hey. Yes, how are you? Well, I'm good, teacher. You're good. I was thinking of you yesterday, Leonidas. Why, teacher? I was watching Netflix and I saw 300 Rise of the Empire and I saw Leonidas, <laughs> um, the Spartan <laughs> warrior. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. I have to be honest, Leonidas. You're the only, uh, I am more than 40 years old and you are the first, first Leonidas that I know in my life. In my okay, life. <laughs> I thought there was only the name for the movies. <laughs> well, actually, no. I just have met like just five or seven people with the same name uh, in all my life. Really? But it's very, very strange, the name. Mm -hmm. For me, it's very strange. I, I, like I said, I'd, I don't know anybody with that name, so... <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Eric, how are you? How are you doing? Good. And how about you, teacher? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. You know, it's. I'm happy to hear that. It's amazing how fast the time goes. It's, it's a little worrying some sometimes because you say, "Oh my God, we're going to finish the year, really, really." The, yeah. the, 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 and then you start thinking, "Hey, maybe, maybe next year we have better opportunities." Maybe next year we we can do something that the COVID doesn't yeah, affect us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're right. But I don't know why I have this sensation that I feel weird also. I mean, I don't know. I know that the year is almost ended, but I got a, uh, a weird sensation also as well. And what is the sensation, Eric? Is it like uh, mm, something bad is going to happen? Something good? We're going to have... Well, uh, what? Not really. Maybe because I just think to myself that that I felt the year I don't know if I felt the year long or short because of the the lockdown mm -hmm. so I, I don't believe it that that I that we are still in on December <laughs> you can't believe we are still in 2020 huh <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm still thinking that we are on March or May, May or June I don't know uh. Yeah, I have to say some, some, I have, no, in general, this year for me was, I felt very long, very, very long because of all the, the, the things, because when you are in home, you feel that every day is the same. Every day is the same. It's, yeah. I, I feel like the movies, I don't know if you've seen the movie Groundhog <laughs> Day or, or, or uh, uh, The Edge of Tomorrow, where Tom Cruise repeat and repeat the day and repeat the day. Yeah, the, the next day, scenario. wake up, same scenario, Eric. Same scenario, Leonidas. Yes. That's true, completely true. Yeah. Now it's different. Now I feel a little bit different because I can go out. Uh, the quarantine is not so strict. Now you... Only you use mask and everybody, the, the stores are open, the supermarkets are open, the restaurants are open. So now it doesn't feel, but I tell you those, maybe four months is every day the same. Wake up the same, have breakfast the same, watch the yeah. same. I mean, I, I, you don't go out, sit in the same sofa, sit and lay in the same bed. I mean, there was, the, I, maybe, maybe there is one month, one complete month where I didn't do anything except watch YouTube and, and, and TikTok and, and, and just <laughs> stupid things. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh-huh. And but you teacher, guys... I have also an, yeah. an, a, a, a concern. Yeah. Because uh, I've been doing my work on the platform, but I don't know why I have this uh, notice. Maybe you can see it. I have uh, already sent it to someone else on the the Insta4. No, I can't. That is it. Uh -huh. It said that it says that course progress student, uh, your enrollment audit track. You are enrolled in the audit track for this course. The audit track does not include a certificate, and I don't oh. know why this. Yes, and I've been doing my work, so I'm. All, I I could say that I'm uh, already finished all the sections. Maybe just one or two ex uh, exercises in this section, but okay. I and, have and, more than 80%. And, 
and you wrote in the in, in the what's up to to Elena or Jonathan or, or one of these people. Yeah, I have wrote to one of these guys. In, as a matter of fact, I have a message from one from one of them. Or well, I have that message that send that they send automatically. Uh -huh. if, if you are not finished the platform, you have to work on it. Yeah, working on in order to to update your produce or something like that. But I don't know why this uh, it is still send me this notice that I'm not in, not include is that is a certificate to me yeah who, well who did you write to the, the in the in the whatsapp group do you know well, let me see if i can get into this for example it was to wait the name no it doesn't have the name here okay, so it doesn't have the let me take a look do you have the number is it's flor sanchez flor sanchez is one of the guys and I also wrote to. Okay, write, me... write to this number, the the, the number that is uh, seven four eight yes. eight. Okay. Six two. Mm -hmm. Three nine. Three nine. Okay. Yeah, that's the number you should write to, and then the 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 company uh, that person is is the responsible to co coordinate the responses and the answers. Maybe they can answer you faster. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah because it, it's going to be. Why. Yeah, because we're already. This is the third week, and, and and it's a problem because if you if you don't have this the certificate, then it, if they don't fix it, it's going to be a problem at the end. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it could be a problem. I'm going to send you this the message that I that I have been that I told you. Uh -huh. Maybe you can see it in the WhatsApp group right now. Okay. Let me check. Oh wait 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 wait. Ah, not a problem. Okay. Anybody else? Did anybody else have any problems or anything with the platform? Well, no, teacher. For now. I don't, teacher. No? Okay. Karen, Elias? No, teacher. No? Okay. All right. Well, we'll try that. Uh, yeah, that Eric's problem. Just send it to that number that I told you because they are the only ones that can. Yeah. They okay. can fix that. That's I'll do the it. But I also. I see it. I, I see it in the, the chat right now. To... Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Already, I, I'm going to send it to the number. The number that you gave me. Also, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna forward it also. That way, uh, we can. Just in case. Yes. Okay, hang on a sec. All right. We'll see what they say. Hopefully they'll be able to answer you uh, pretty soon. Besides that, uh, any questions on the platform, Eric? Any, anything else that has been happening? Yeah, I have some issue with the section number one in exercise 1.8, I guess. 1.8. Yeah. Let okay. Let me see if my internet is working properly right now. Because that is the issue that I have when I have in class. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is one of, for example, talking about politics? I don't know what that answer is. It all is came wrong to me, but I guess it is, it is right. 1.8, one right? That says, talking about politics at school, at, at work or school, it's appropriate. It's something like that. Okay, we're, you're in 1.8, Eric? No, not yet. This, but that's, that's where the question is, right? 1.8? Yeah, it is 1.8, and I have another one for section two, but I'm still working. I'm still waiting for my computer to load the I sent the page. all the answers in the group. Eric. Yeah, I guess you were the one that sent the, the, the answer, but I just found the, the from the second answer to the end, the, one, the, oh. the number one wasn't included. The one where it says, I'm not surprised at all? Yeah. No, it, it, it is the one that he said that about talking, talking about politics at school or, or 
at, at work or school, it's appropriate. And I don't know what you're talking because in 1.8, there is that sentence is not there, Eric. Yeah, okay, but it's in section right one, now. teacher. In section one, uh, maybe one, one point two, but I also 1. have an, uh, uh, equation in one point eight, but my uh, plan uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is low right now. One point two. Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on. But the one point two we did in class. Yeah. Can you see Eric? Yep. Because this is the we did number one and two in class because I don't remember somebody was having some problems, I think. Okay. It was a gerund instead of the infinitive. Yeah. And I guess I have read it in that way, talking about politics at work or the school, it's appropriate. No, it's inappropriate. Oh, it's inappropriate. Uh-huh. Okay, that's why. I, I thought it was appropriate, the answer. Uh -huh. No, no, no it, it's appropriate. It's it, uh -huh, it, that the uh, only putting in inappropriate. Okay, I'll do it. And the, that is in one point two, right? Right. Okay, let me let me see if I can load the one point eight and see the answer, the, the question that I have been talking. Okay, no problem. If you want to share your screen, that's fine. Okay, yeah, uh, I don't know why my from I have a problem with this part too because all the the trade that I have done uh, give me a, a result run. I don't know why. All of them? Yeah, all of them. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why. I, I've been trying many times. And I don't know why. Maybe the point or some spaces. Yeah. Because I, I sent the answers that when you finish the exercise, it says show answers. So I click on it and I send exactly all the options that the platform accepts. So maybe it is a um, space or the period at the end or capital letters. In my case, the problem was contractions. I didn't write contractions, so that's why I have them all wrong. You can look at my screen, Eric, if that helps you. That makes it easier. You don't have to worry about your internet. Tell me which one it is. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what it is, the, the, the number. But is this the, is this the yeah. section? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm checking it right now. Okay, I'll put it down so you can see the sentences. Yeah, I guess number four is one of them. Okay. Why aren't you talking? She asked me that she asked that the end, well, the, what I remember that I wrote was, she asked me that why I wasn't Okay, that, that, so your answer is wrong because we don't use that for question. Okay. So she you asked also me. Also, have been tried with without that. Why? She asked me why. Mm -hmm. Tell me the rest. She asked me. She asked me why. Wasn't. I talking? I guess. Okay. Let's try. I think the contraction is, yeah, I think that's right. Who wasn't talking, all right. Let me put in the question mark. Let me try without, with the period. Yeah, that's, that's correct, Eric. Yeah, well, I, I will try. Uh huh. So it's it's just like uh huh. It's just like she says. Sometimes it's just a a period or a contraction, um, or sometimes you put the the letter two times. But usually, usually the problem is check the contractions. Check this. Uh, that is not a tilde and that it, it's an apostrophe because our computers are different. But 
look at one more time at the answer. Now, yeah. Also, it's in the WhatsApp group, but you can look. Okay. She asked me. Now, remember that here, we, there is no that. We don't use that for questions. Okay. So only she asked me and then the information. We changed the pronoun because it's not you. She asked me why yeah. I, why I wasn't talking. Okay. And the other one is the number five. Give him, give him, give him a call. He okay. told me. Let's try that one. He told me. Mm -hmm. That I gave you a call. No, no that. It's an order. Without. Okay. Uh, he told me. He told me. And then the infinitive. To. To. Give you. Mm, to give. Give, you. give him a call. I think it's going to be the same. To give him a call. Let me check. Yeah, it's the same. Mm -hmm. The reason it's, it's right. not. Yeah, 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 it's right. See the little green check? He it told me to. Me mm -hmm. To give him a call. Yeah. The reason it's him is because it's the same. Him. Call, like if I saw Leonidas, call him. And uh, what did he say? He said, call him. It's the, it's the same pronoun. It's, only, it's usually only different when it's about yourself. When you, okay. when you use the pronoun I or, uh, or, or we or something like that, then it's usually going to be different. Okay. okay. And the other one, can you share it again one more time? Oh, sure, 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 sure. Hang on. Let me share I guess one more. Got one more. No problem. Let's take a look. Let's see. It is. Mm, well, I'm not pretty sure about the number. Okay, it's fine. I will try to do it later. Okay. All right. Don't worry. Thank you for the help. For the help. Of course, of course. Just make sure. Um, you know, like Caro said, I think Caro had sent that that one. You can check the answers in in the. In the WhatsApp also, I think, right, Carol? Yes, teacher, I did. Okay, okay. Thank you, Carol. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. All right. Anybody else? Any anybody else have any any questions about the platform? You, it doesn't have to be the recent one. It can be it can be anything. So, you know, some just like this. So sometimes you have one point eight. Sometimes we'll have one point two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then every, everything else is okay, right? Nobody has any questions? Guess no one else. Yeah, and that's usually how the, I, I know because the people don't like to answer. They only stay quiet. It's like in the, yeah. in the, they feel like they're at the work and, the, and I'm the boss and the boss says, okay, any ideas? And everybody's like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> They're always teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I say the idea and it's a bad idea, hmm, no more job. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So today we're going to be looking at a topic. The topic is called tag questions. I don't know if you've heard of it. Have you heard of this grammar structure before? Uh, the word I like. I think a, uh, it is something like maybe a uh, high that teacher. <laughs> Uh huh. That, that, like, that, that, what was that? What's that? Tell me what am I looking like, at? Like, for example, am I wrong? Mm -hmm. and, and then you say, Don't like, you I, I, I use like the small questions that you put at the end just to maybe be sure what you're talking about. Like, am I wrong? Or, no, I'm no, you are, or something like you are that. correct. You are correct. It is those small questions that we put at the end to check. That's right. Mm -hmm. like, that's, is it or isn't it or, or something mm -hmm. like that? Yeah. And that's right. And the way that it is, it's really, it's like asking a question, but the, you know, but in the form of a sentence. Okay. So many times we use a direct, the a direct sentence, like I, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, do you like pizza, right? 
So, but you, you meant to ask it like a question, you not like a sentence. So you put a tag at the end. How does the tag work? Well, we're gonna learn a little bit about it, but that's the main idea. The main idea is that the tag questions here, like you can see, are added at the end of the sentence. That's the big part. All of those that you see there are the idea of what a tag is. The tag is just like a question, okay? Like the auxiliary in a question. If the auxiliary is was, or were, or is, or do, or does, or any, any auxiliary like a question is the same in a tag. It's not going to be different. The only difference is that if the sentence is positive, for example here, wait, let me see if I can give you an idea. Oh, there we go. All right, we look at the last sentence. The sentence here is negative, it has a negative auxiliary. So that means that the tag at the end is positive. It's like the battery of a car, okay? You have to think of it like a battery of a car. One is positive, one is negative, okay? So if the part is negative, the other part is positive. If one part is positive, the other part is negative. And that's pretty much what it is. It's, they, they're used to check information, to see if the person says yes or no to your opinion. We're gonna watch a small, a small video, and if you have any questions, then you ask me at the end, okay? Okay, perfect, teacher. All right. Don't you think learning English is easy? Let's go over negative and tough questions for giving opinion. Negative and tough questions for giving opinions. Use negative questions to offer an opinion and invite someone to react. Isn't it weird how some people are always on their cell phones? Doesn't it seem like kids spend too much time in front of the TV? Wouldn't it be great if everyone had a cell phone like that? Shouldn't the government limit the number of sites? I get email on my cell phone. That's nice, isn't it? TV makes kids lazy, doesn't it? Use the phrase, don't you think, to form negative or tough questions. Don't you think there are too many websites? It's actually dangerous, don't you think? Negative and tough questions for giving opinions. A tough question is a question added at the end of the sentence. Tough questions are used to make sure there is agreement with one's opinion or to make sure information is correct. That was a great restaurant, wasn't it? The post office is next to the bank, isn't it? The post office is next to the bank, is it? The verb in the tough question is negative if the first verb in the sentence is affirmative, and affirmative if the first verb is negative. Ta questions have falling intonation when the speaker expects the listeners to agree. They have rising intonation when the speaker wants to express uncertainty. Negative questions are also used to seek agreement with an opinion. Read the following vowels. Agree or disagree with these opinions. Can you put your uh, microphone on mute? I think it's, it makes a lot of noise for washing the dishes. Thanks. All right, so we have, uh, we have a couple of, of key points. The important is that we're looking at two parts. One is the negative questions and the other are the tag questions. The negative questions, as you can see, very easy. It's just using the auxiliary negative. Isn't it, doesn't it? wouldn't it, okay, shouldn't, whatever it is. So instead of, um, you know, uh, is it hot today? So you can use it, isn't it, okay? Isn't it hot today? It's, it's just a way for people to react, to agree with you or to have your the same opinion of you, okay? Now, when we use tag questions, it goes at the end. Remember, the, for all of them, you use a question mark. It's not a send, you, you don't use a period. You use a question mark because they are questions. The difference is the function. When you use a tag question, it's because you want to check information. You want to see if the person says yes or no to your ideas. So here we can take a look at, remember the tag is at the end, okay? You want to make sure there is an agreement or to make sure the information is correct. So for example, I can say, uh, Eric, you have two brothers. Don't you? 
because I am verifying what I think. I'm verifying this opinion. Here, I think the restaurant is great, okay? And I'm checking with you if you have the same opinion of me. So I say, normally a question would be, was that, a, uh, was that a great restaurant? But here we put it at the end and we change it for negative because if the sentence is positive, the tag is negative, okay? Like in the last sentence, if the sentence is negative, the tag is going to be positive. Okay, so we also have the post office is next to the bank. This is my opinion. This is what I, I, I think is correct, but I put a tag for you to confirm the information. That is the idea. It's only about confirming information. It's only a, like checking that you want to make sure that the information is correct. Are there any questions about this? Not teacher, I don't have questions. I don't, Not teacher. Okay, all right. So, hang on, let me stop sharing okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our groups and we're just gonna make statements okay we're gonna practice we're gonna make assumptions okay Leonidas you work at Tigo don't you I don't okay you see and that's it it's just giving opinions I say hey Carolina you can make pupusas can't you I can't teacher and very delicious Ah, there you go, there you go. Okay, now how do I know which tag is correct and which tag is incorrect? You know because you think about the question. The question I would ask Carolina would be, can you make pupusas? So that means the tag has to be can. For Leonidas, the question would be, do you work at Tigo? So the tag has to be do. You change the tag according to the original question. If the original question is do, you put at the end, do. Remember, if the sentence is positive, the tag is negative. If the sentence is negative, the tag is going to be positive. Don't worry, it takes practice to get it. So don't think that in the moment you're going to be like flash, okay? So what we're going to do, we have, hang on, let me show you that, I think the last part of the video had a few statements that we could, Check with, I'll put it into the WhatsApp group. Okay, I'll take someone was talking to her, but was very low. Okay, hang on. Let me put this into the the WhatsApp group so that you and your partners have an idea of how it goes as well. Okay. So these are some statements and you just agree or don't agree, okay, with those opinions. So you can see how there's a tag in it, how there are negative questions. It's not only tag, it's negative, okay? Um, don't you think El Salvador has some of the best beaches? Okay, now, can I make the question, do you think El Salvador has some of the best beaches? Yes, both questions are correct. The difference, do you is a general question that I ask you. Don't you is I am telling you my opinion and I am checking with you if you agree with my opinion. Okay. So if I say, uh, Daniel, don't you like pizza? Okay. This is usually like the idea what I am telling you and you are agreeing or disagreeing with this. Okay. So you have them in the group. We're gonna make a, we're gonna make some groups to make it easier. Groups of three, and then we can practice. Hello, Hello so can you hear me yeah i could it's very low but i could can you hear me now yes okay we have to talk about the teacher send some information in the chat yes just use the tag questions like if I say, for example, 
Are you mother? Aren't you? Yes, I am. No, no, like a sentence, like a sentence. You are a mother. Oh, okay, that's true. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So the first part is just the same, the same as a sentence. Whatever the sentence is your opinion or whatever you think, okay? Mm -hmm. I think Eric is 40 years old. So I say, okay, Eric, you are 40 years old. And then I put at the end the tag. If I don't remember, I think the question is, are you? So the tag at the end is going to be the opposite, the negative, aren't you? Okay, perfect, thank you. But it's like a sentence, it's not a question, right? No, it's the structure at the beginning is the sentence. And then uh -huh. at the end is the tag. And that's what makes it the question. Okay. But uh -huh. you said that you said yes. that we can start a question also in Neri, for example, you said Correct. when you think that I'm right with the, the for example, if I explain something, uh, I could say, Then you think that I that I write with my explanation, do you? No. Because you cannot mix the two. You you use the negative or you use the tag, but not the two together. So if you say negative, don't you think I'm right with my explanation? That's it. And teacher, for example, I haven't seen you in class, Eric. Have you? Have I? Have I? Why have I? Because in the question, have I seen you in class? No, have you seen I in class? I haven't seen you in class, Eric. Have you? Have no. I? Mm. What would be the original question? If it's not tag, how would be the question, Karen? It would be, have you been in class? Have you been in class? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's different than your sentence. If you say, have you been in class? Then you have to say the sentence, right? You haven't been in class, have you? But you didn't uh -huh. say, you, you said, I haven't seen you no. in class. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why the difference. Uh -huh. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. And, and what about in this case, teacher? For example, if I say, hey, Karen, listen, I've been running out of money. I was thinking if you can lend me some money. Can you? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. All right. <laughs> Hey, hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Steph. And don't you think the Christmas is going to be different? Yes, it's going to be very different. Because, for example, <laughs> in my case with my family, always go to the church. And this year, I think we... We we aren't going to go there because of we are like frightened to go out if it's not necessary. I don't know, but yes, it will be different. But hopefully, we are together to have each other, and uh, that's a that's a bless. That's a bless. So yes, I uh, I agree with you. I think this Christmas is going to be super different. Uh, no one will be won't be able to go and visit their parents or going to the church. Uh, so people used to went or to go to go to the to parties like dancing parties where they where they put uh, music like cumbia, Marito Rivera, and all that. You know? Yes, you're right. Uh, but with, with, with this restrict, maybe I didn't learn from my family because my family, uh, my dad and my mom, they never, they never uh, put a, a Christmas tree in the home. So I have never uh, practiced that. I remember that you told me that, Elia. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know why. I, I really love the Christmas tree, but just just to see them, but not to have them in my house. I don't know why. In my case, uh, in my case, I, do, I don't practice to put the Christmas tree, but mm -hmm. my daughters love it, love it, love it mm -hmm. to put the Christmas tree because I maybe for the light and um, all of all of the adornos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The decorations, all the decorations. Ah, decoration. Okay, yeah. okay. Thank, thank, thank. I think it's too much, too much work to to be yeah, so de decorating the the Christmas tree because mm -hmm. uh, uh, people who used to do that they put uh, a lot of things, bowls, lights, uh, and uh, boots and things like that. <laughs> uh, I'm not patient for being doing those things. And Maria, and your, Elias, and your Elias you, you you believe in you believe in you believe in Santa Claus, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't because that that's a that's business. Okay. Commercial strategies, I think. Yeah, I uh, think I too. That yeah. I don't. <laughs> I'm drinking water. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna try another another example. For example, correct me if I'm if I am wrong. Okay. Uh, perfect. Let's let's suppose that Karen has a daughter, and I and I'm going to say something like this. Uh, Karen's Karen's daughter is dancing very well. Doesn't she? I think that is good. Is, but, but is. Say it again, Eric. Or, well, is, what? Say, say it again, Eric. Uh, Karen's daughter, Karen's, Karen's daughter is dancing very well, isn't she? Okay, very good, because in your sentence, you use is, right? Yes. So that you and you use the negative, so you have to use the positive, isn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll try one more. For example, Leonidas looks like uh let's say uh how 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 do you call this guy that work on the, that works on the radio? I don't know. I don't know. DJ. I'm let's okay. say Leonidas uh, looks uh, like a DJ. Isn't uh, he? No. No, that's doesn't he? Correct. Okay, one more, uh, let's say, Karen is a good cooker, isn't she? Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. That's good, okay. that's good. You got the idea. Uh, no, I don't. Uh -huh. Sometimes a couple couple beer just every weekend <laughs> <laughs> no 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 sometimes Saturday, Saturday with, my, Sunday. with my friends <laughs> but what but, about but, holiday yeah 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 singing uh, and some celebrate in my job in my jobs for example <laughs> in the in the next Friday I have a party with the representative de acciones of my job, and then um, uh, I, I drink some some beers <laughs> or some wine, for example. Okay, no then, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. We will believe you. <laughs> okay. Won't we? <laughs> Is that the right? <laughs> Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Won't we, Elias? You are there, Elias, aren't you? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> good, I, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. because uh, around me there happening something that uh, caught my attention. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, Elias. Okay, okay. 
Okay. You are sleepy, aren't you? <laughs> You're so quiet, aren't you? <laughs> yes, Elias is so quiet. Okay. Any questions about any of that, about the tags or how to make them or how to use them? I need, I need practice, teacher. A okay. lot of practice. Okay. But the rule, but, 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 I, but I understand the, the rule. Okay. So remember, the important is that it can be used really with any any auxiliary because it's just a question it's just like a question the difference is that you put at the end of the sentence that's it yes, yes that's right mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay so when we use the tag questions it's just another way to to check with the person if it's correct or not correct the information okay so when they say oh uh, you know um, do you work on Saturdays that's a normal question, but if I have an opinion, I think, I think Ernesto works on Saturdays. So I say to Ernesto, do you work on Saturdays? Don't you? Yes, I do. And Ernesto is going to answer just like a normal question. If the answer is yes, yes, I do. If the answer is no, no, I don't. So it's not that you change. You answer just if it, the same form that it's a normal question with, yes, I do, no, I don't. Yes, I can, no, I can't. Okay? All right. Now we're going to make groups again, but now we're going to stay focused grammatically. And what are we going to stay focused? We want to use different auxiliaries. So we want to make a question with the verb to be, am, is, or are. We want to make a question with the auxiliary do or does with have or has and with can okay so we want to make four one more time the four because those are the most common auxiliaries that we use the common auxiliaries the verb to be do or does okay have or has and can because those are usually what we have for question right do you like pizza uh, can you swim uh, have you gone to the beach are you happy? These are the normal questions that we ask. These are the normal auxiliaries. So we want to make sure that in our groups, we can make those four. So each person is going to make four. And each partner, we're going to switch, and each partner is going to answer four questions. Remember, it's going to be four different auxiliaries. One with the verb to be, one with do, one with have, and then one with can. A perfect teacher. Okay, any questions for this activity? No, teacher, I don't have questions. Okay, does anybody have any questions on the how to make them before you go and practice again? Is there anybody who still is a little confused how to make the tag questions? Yeah, why don't you give us an example, uh, at least one example. For okay. example, if I want to use the the do, the auxiliary do. So okay, I make can a, say, do mm -hmm. you and the rest of the conversation? And at the end, I say, don't you, because I use in in, in a positive. Okay, right? so, so for example, Eric, make a question with do. For example, do you want to go to the movies with me? Don't you? Correct. No? You want to go to the movies with me, don't you? Mm -hmm. Because the normal question would be, do you? Do you want to go to the movies? So, with, Mm -hmm. I don't have I don't have to use the auxiliary do at the at the beginning. So no, you my don't. sentence it would be in this way: You want to go to the movies with me, don't you? Correct. That is the correct. Okay. That is correct. Let's try so, with can, Eric. Same using the auxiliary have and has. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We'll okay. Try. Okay. So the same thing. If you are not sure make the original question, make the question with do, make the question with can, and then think about and put the do, the can at the end, okay? If you have difficulty, go slowly, 
think of the question and then at the end. So for example, if I'm not sure or I don't know how to make, I can say, are you happy? Okay, now I have my question. So I put like a sentence. Are Teacher, okay. there's you one are question. Happy, there's one you? question uh, before we go to the meeting room, to the breakout rooms. Yes. So we were. I was watching the slide or picture that you sent to the WhatsApp group, mm -hmm. which is mentioned that you can start a uh, question with negative, or is that an uh, a question when? It's no, it's not a tag question. Is there are two topics? One is tag questions, and the other are negative questions. That's why okay. it, in the picture it's gonna it yeah, says yeah, um, in the picture it says negative and tag questions. So the negative is pretty yeah, easy yeah. because the negatives is just the same that people speak in Spanish. It's the same, yeah. the same as okay. the people speak in Spanish. The people say, "Hey, don't you? The didn't you go to work yesterday?" And it's the same, the same way. Yeah. Only we use the auxiliary. Okay. So, mm -hmm. all right. So remember, four different auxiliaries, four questions each person. Okay. They're fine. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I suppose just you and me here in the in the group, right? I guess. The teacher. <laughs> oh, yes. The teacher, okay. Yes, the teacher. So you want to start first with the examples using the verb to be, do, and does, have, and has, and can? Okay. I will start with the verb be. Okay. And you are. You are friendly aren't you eric i am okay you look like <laughs> is traveling around the world is it he okay my turn and mm -hmm. what's the answer yes he is <laughs> correct, correct. Yes, yes, he is. No, he isn't. It's okay as long as you have the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, Leonidas is an engineer, isn't he? No, uh, no, no, he's, he's not. He's not. Correct. Good, good. Uh, the the answer, the tough question. Could be affirmative and negative. No, yes, could be uh, question. Could question be and question and, and affirmative. The final in uh -huh, in the final the question the question. Okay, for example, for example, you can you can speak uh, some French. Can you? Teacher is good. This is example. Correct. You can speak some French, can't you? And what's the answer? Okay, okay, okay. You can speak. No, no iniciamos como pregunta, sino que de un solo la oración. You can speak some French, can you? And what's the answer, Daniel? Uh, I can speak. No, I can't. Any French. Correct. Uh -huh. No, I can't, or yes, I can. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So you start, you don't start like a question, teacher. You no, you make like, like a, a sentence. sentence. Correct. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Like a sentence, yes. Okay. <clears throat> You are so happy today. Uh, you are so happy today, aren't you? And what's the answer? Uh, yes, Stephanie or Cloud? Ah, yes, okay, okay. Okay, good, good. That's good, that's good. Teacher, the, the sentences could be in question, question or affirma, affirmative sentences. For example, uh -huh. can, can't, no, can't you exercise every day? Can you? No. No. You, you cannot mix the two. There are two different grammar. One is the negative, can't you exercise every day? And the other is the tag. You can exercise every day, can't you? 
you there are two. Today. Can you? Uh huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the 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 tag is only like a sentence, and then at the end the tag. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And the negative is the same question but in negative. Uh -huh. For example, you cannot do exercise every day. Can you? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. 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 Um, well, have you heard about Ken? Ken. Okay. So let's, let's see. see. Uh huh. Start, Eric. Okay, I will, I will try. Karen, you can, you can do, you can do jogging all day, all day. Can, can you? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's see, Eric. Eric, you can drive so fast, can't you? I can. Do you? What about you? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I can. What about you, Elias? Um, An example of can. Okay. Uh, uh you you used to travel to the United States on on December. Uh do don't you? Okay. Try again, Elias. Uh you used no it's not great. You used to go to uh to travel to the United States on on December was was the statement that I that I said. Okay. Think of it this way, Eric uh, uh, Elias. What would be the original question? Uh, uh, no. uh, don't Are you, you used to? No, make, uh, make the question, yeah, okay. like a normal question, a normal question. Mm -hmm. uh, are you, yeah, are you used, maybe I, I got wrong because it could be, are you used to travel to the United States at the end of the year or in December? No, because always when we use R, we use ING. Uh -huh. try, try a different yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, you are used to, you are used to travel to the United States uh, at the end of the year or in December, uh, aren't you? Correct. Okay. okay, all right, you can breathe. Yes, 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 it's correct, it's correct, Elias. That's right, that's right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Remember, whenever you get confused or when you're not sure, make the question normal, a normal question. And the normal question, are you used to traveling uh, into the United States every year? The other form is, is only because it depends on how you form it. If you say the correct, originally your correct was do, because you said, do you, right? Do you travel to the United States every year? But when you say, are you used to? Ah, now you have to use the auxiliary are because you used used to. So they are the same, the same meaning in the question, but there are different forms. Okay, thank that's, you. That's the tricky part. You're welcome, you're welcome. Tell me, Lourdes. Um, Tell me, Karen, what happened? Okay, we can use a tag question with model. For example, you should you should take a vacation, shouldn't you? No. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. With all the models, for example, might, ought to, have to. No, no, no. It only depends on, on the question because remember, it's just, it's just the same like uh, you would make a normal question. So it's not the motto, it's an auxiliary. Okay. So mm -hmm. you, so they are, um, so for example, you make the question, uh, should I take a vacation? So then you can use should, right? But you're not going to make the question, might I, well, you could. Uh, um, like, not for might I take a vacation? You can't use. Um, you, but think of it as is, is 
if it's if it's correct to make a question with the auxiliary, it's correct to make the question with the with the tag because they function in the same position. Only one is at the beginning, one is at the end, but the function is the same. Questions. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So with woo too, right? Woo. Yeah. Would you? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know. Would you? Uh, would you like a, 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 I don't know, would you like a, would you like a soda, for example? Okay. And I tell Leonidas, Leonidas, you would like a soda, wouldn't you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So whatever, like I say, if, if it's correct to make the question with it, it's almost always correct to do the same for the, for the tag. The problem is when it's not correct in the question, it's not correct in the tag. Okay, perfect. Okay. Teacher, is correct if I say, uh, for example, I have uh, a car mm -hmm. having I? No. 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 I have a car, don't I? Because the question is, do I have a car? Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Teacher, ask his daddy. What happened? <laughs> you were not here. Ah, yes, I was finishing up the question with the group. Weren't uh, you? Ah. ah uh -huh. You see, teacher? <laughs> I see, Carla, I see. <laughs> All right, guys. Great, great job. And I think it's clear for everybody, right? It is. At least in our minds, but in practice, it's difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teacher, we need to practice the word some more. Right? The word right that you said, it is also a tough question, right? <laughs> um, kind of. It, it's used as an expression, but not necessarily a, a, a tag question because we don't use right for a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. I heard it like that. Like. Yeah, yeah. That's how people use it, but it's not a tag question. It's just a, 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 the expression, right? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, you. See, you. See, you. see you tomorrow, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Bye. -bye. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Bye.